just thinking of like a cure for self-consciousness and mental health. If there's a cure for self-consciousness or a stepping stone to understanding self-consciousness and overcoming it, spirituality, spirituality works for a lot of people. But there's a person, these, these stones, I don't know if you've seen with the necklaces and the cages and they have these little stones and that in them. And each stone represents something different. I don't know. I don't know all of them, but I know like it's solidite, the little blue one. That's for anxiety. So wearing this stone, you put this stone on, and it's supposed to help. They say it don't work immediately, but put it on, and in a few weeks' time, you'll start to feel your anxiety lifting. And what it's doing is tricking your mind to be conscious of your anxiety, because when every time you see that stone or you move and you bend and you feel it and you see it right not only does it look pretty and it looks nice but it's also a conscious reminder not to be anxious or why you're anxious so what it does is remind you of the trigger so like for my example like going into shops and things like that i struggle with people talking to people so when i go it like i feel that stone there and it consciously overrid like yeah what am I doing do you know what I mean I'm a tough lad let's go in, let's do it <laughs> go to a shop and all I'm doing is buying some frags or getting saved do you know what I mean I need to buy some like toilet paper and stuff like that do you know what I mean things that that because we overthink it and that's what we're doing well, what are we going in for to toilet paper well, what are we using that toilet paper for well, I need to wipe my ass do you know what I mean and you start thinking well now all of a sudden you're thinking, you're putting your thoughts in that shop assistant's head. Well, that's not what they're thinking. <laughs> that's what you're thinking. So we're creating our own fears. They're probably worried about not having enough change in the register, or what they're having for tea tonight, or what the ex, what the boyfriend's texting, messaging. Do you know? We've all got different problems, haven't we, in life? But back to these stones without going off to a topic. There's lots of different ones like the black or obsidian stone, yeah. You see a lot of rasters and that wearing the black black stone obsidian stones that attracts negative energy. Because it's it's shaitan, like the devil, all the negative energy and converting negatives into positives. So all anything that like a negative something in your life, you turn it into a positive. How could it how can you turn something like anxiety into a positive? Well, becoming aware of your anxiety and becoming aware of the fear and overcoming that fear allows you to be confident, allows you to be strong and allows you to love yourself. Because the more you do it, the more proud of yourself that you feel for it. And I think that's a big reason why, like, is it Leviticus? I, I, don't quote me on this, but like in the Bible, I'll, I'll, I'll put all the references in. It says, "Do like, do not cut the shit the corners of your beard, and do not shave your hair." Well, why? Because vanity. When we shave and rear all the time, or oh, I've got a nice hairstyle, or what nice and all the rest of it, it, we're consciously projecting what we want other people to think. And then we base our lives around those emotions, which in turn receives negativity. So the idea of wearing the hair and all the rest of it is to take away vanity, is to take away, well, yeah, I look like a tramp, I look like a scruff, so what? What's it got to do with you? I'm happy, this is my life, it's got nothing to do with it. Like, the people that judge you, nine times out of ten, you probably won't even see them again anyway. You know, and it's sad. If somebody, it's easier for someone to say something bad about you than it is to think about themselves. Because after going through this thought process and all of this with my hair and all the rest of it, yeah, to take away, I don't care what I look like. Why would I then go and judge somebody else's based on their appearance? Well, I won't do it because it's contradictory to everything that I believe in. So. This is a, it, it, it's a conscious thought process and it's a teaching that needs to be inherited because if it's not taught or if it's not understood or experienced 
then it's not going to be translated or we're not going to be able to input it into our daily lives, are we? It's just going to be one of them things that are stuck in the back of our head that, oh yeah, we'll get back, we'll get to it later, we'll get to it later. And that's the biggest thing, it's about just over overcoming that self-consciousness. It's like now, me making these videos, this is hard for me to sit here and talk to do it, but the more I'm doing it, the easier or the more comfortable or more confident I'm getting at doing it. But, you know, it's just not caring what people think. You know, like when I first started like doing all of these, I'd rather do it in a raw edit, edit video to show other people like all the nervous stutters, nervous twitches, little thought things where I go back into my head and things like that, do you know what I mean? But I'm still talking to you, do you know? That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> So it's just getting this practice in to show people not to be scared and if there's anything that you want to do, get, like get out there and do it. Just, just do it. Because the more you do it, the easier it becomes.